subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends, this is Santanam from Officers IAS Academy and in this video we are going to continue to solve the history questions that has been asked in UPSC prelims over the past 5 years from 2015 to 2019. So far we have solved the ancient Indian history questions and we have also solved medieval Indian history questions and in this video we will solve the art and culture related questions which have come in the UPSC prelims between 2015 to 2019, 5 years questions. So we'll go ahead and solve the first question. With reference to the art and archaeological history of India, which one among the following was made the earliest? So they have given a list of monuments here. Lingaraj Temple at Bhuvaneshwar, Rock at Elephant at Dhauli, Rock at Monuments at Mahabaliburam, Varaha Image at Udaygiri. So we have four uh, monuments here. So how do you find the answer? How do you analyze and try to eliminate the other options? Well, for art and culture, if you take art and culture, the thing here is you have to remember certain art and the cultural aspects of India. There is no bypassing this. There is no way in which you can analyze all questions. You can eliminate, yes. You can analyze, you can eliminate. But by and large, you have to remember some of the important facts here. So in this question, they are asking which was made the earliest. They are not asking you to arrange it chronologically. They are asking which is made the earliest. So of these, Let's try to eliminate some options. If it is very early, first of all, there shouldn't be any temples here because temples were built only in the Gupta era, from the Gupta era onward. So therefore, A cannot be the answer. Varaha image, Varaha is a god, is a Vedic god, is a Hindu god. And therefore, even that cannot be the answer because that also belongs to a temple only. So even that is not the answer. And rock at temple at elef uh, rock at, uh, elephant at Dhauli, and rock at monuments at Mahabalam. These two are left. So of these two, which is the older one? Now Dhauli is a place in Kalinga, is a place in modern day Odisha. So here Ashoka has meant, has created a lot of monuments here. He has installed even stupas here. So here during Ashoka's time, there was in fact a rock at elephant created. Then what about the rock monuments at Mahabaliburam? Mahabalipuram monuments were created only during the Pallava time period who were contemporaries of Guptas. So there is a difference of more than 700 years be between these two creations. So therefore, the answer to the first question is option B, rock at elephant at Dhauli. Question number 2. Which one of the following was given classical language status recently? So classical language. So this status is given to certain languages in India. Tamil is considered to be a classical language. Malayalam is considered to be a classical language. Kannada is a classical language. Telugu is a classical language. And apart from all of that, recently, Odia is also given as, the, given the status of a classical language. So that's the answer to this question. These are all, as I, as I told earlier, factual questions. Sometimes you have to remember these facts. Next question. Kalamkari painting refers to, so we have four options here. Option A, a hand painted cloth textile in South India, a handmade drawing on bamboo handicrafts in Northeastern India, a block painted wooden cloth in Western Himalayan region of India, a hand painted decorative silk cloth in Northwestern India. So you have the mode of how it is made and where in which part of India it belongs to. So you have multiple options here. So Kalamkari it is actually made on cotton clothes, which means D is not an option and Kalamkari is made with hand only. So therefore, C is also not an option. It is not a block painted woolen cloth. It is not the case. And it is not made on bamboo also. So even B is not the answer. The answer is option A. Hand, hand painted cloth textile in South of India, primarily in Andhra Pradesh. That's where Kalamkari painting is famous. 40, uh, fourth question, which of the following has or have been accorded geographical indication status? So what is this geographical indication status? It means that that particular commodity, that particular item or good is produced in that area and that term cannot be used anywhere else. For example, Kanchiburam silks. 
Tirupadi Laddu. So like that. So that area alone is known for the production of Tirupadi Laddu. Tirupadi is known for Tirupadi Laddu. So like that, when there is some commodity which is associated with one particular region, they try to get geographical indication tag, geographical indicator tag for those commodities. So here we have some examples here. For example, Banaras brocades and saris. Meaning the brocades and saris made in Banaras. Dal Bati Kurma made in Rajasthan. Laddu made in Tirupadi. So we have three such examples and which of these three have geographical indication tag? The answer is option for the statement 1 and statement 3. There is no Ra Dal Bati Kurma uh, tag given for Rajasthani. Dal Bati Kurma is tag is not given. So therefore 1 and 3 are correct, 2 is wrong. The answer is option C, 1 and 3 only. Question number 5. What is or are common to the two historical places known as Ajanta and Mahabaliburam? So Ajanta caves are there somewhere in the west coast of India and then you have Mahabaliburam in the east coast. So what is common is what they are asking. Both were built in the same period. Is that correct? It is not correct because Ajanta caves were built during the time of Mauryas and even pre-Mauryan era. But the Mahabaliburam rock cut temples were created only during the time of Pallavas in the CE time period, in the common era. Ajanta caves were created, Ajanta caves were made over a period of several hundreds of years. So therefore, it is not correct. The first statement is not correct. Both belong to the same religious denomination. No, that is also wrong because Ajanta caves are themed around Buddhism. The rock cut cave temples here in the seashore, that is themed around the Vedic religion. So therefore, that is also not correct. Both have rock cut monuments. Is that correct? That statement is correct because both are involving a lot of rock cut architecture. So 1 and 2 are wrong, 3 is correct. The answer is option B, 3 only. Question number 6. With reference to Manipuri Sankirtana, Sankirtana, sorry, Manipuri Sankirtana, consider the following statements. It is a song and a dance performance. Symbols are the only musical instruments used in the performance. It is performed to narrate the life and deeds of Lord Krishna. Three statements we have. Let's look at the first statement. It is a song and dance performance. Is that correct? That is correct. Symbols are the only musical instruments used in the performance. No, that is not correct. Apart from symbols, drums are used, string instruments are used, many different instruments are used. So whenever you have this term only, you get to be a little cautious. So therefore, the second statement is wrong. It is performed to narrate the life and deeds of Lord Krishna. Is that correct? That is correct. It is the life of Lord Krishna, his own deeds, his own leela, which are depicted in Manipuri. Sankirtana. So 1 and 3 are correct, 2 is wrong. The answer is option B, 1 and 3 only for the 6th question. Question number 7, a straightforward question. The painting of Bodhisattva Padmapani is one of the most famous and often illustrated paintings at which of these place? Straightforward question, the answer is A. Ajanta. It's a factual question, there is nothing that you have to analyze here. You have to know that Padmapani, a Bodhisattva is painted here holding a lotus in his hand. That's why he is called as a Padmapani. 8. Which of the following is or are famous for sun temples? So sun temple. We have seen sun temple at uh, Konark. We have heard of sun temple at Konark. We have heard of sun temple at Modera in Gujarat. So with all of that, they have given a list of sites here and they are asking whether these sites have any sun temples. So one, Arasavalli, is there a sun temple in Arasavalli? Yes, there is. Arasavalli in Andhra Pradesh, there is a sun temple. Factual question. Two, Amar Kantak. Amar Kantak is a pilgrimage site, but this site does not have a sun temple. So statement two, the uh, phrase two is wrong. Three. Omkarishwar. Omkarishwar is wrong because Omkarishwar has Shiva temple, not sun temple. So the answer to this question is option A, one only. That is the answer to the eighth question. Ninth question. Consider the following pairs. On the one side you have traditions, 
on the other side you have the community which are practicing these traditions so what is the tradition here number one chaliha sahib festival chaliha sahib festival is the tradition is it followed by sindhis the answer is correct yes it is sindhis follow this uh, festival to actually praise their own god juleha so he supposedly helped protect the sindhi hindus from conversion into islam so this is how they celebrate this particular festival so that is a festival that is celebrated for several days by sindhis that is correct nandaraj jat yatra is it celebrated by gonds the answer is no this nanda raj nanda raj jat yatra is celebrated by people of uttarakhand uttaranchal and gonds are nowhere near uttaranchal gonds are present primarily in the central part of india and therefore they are not involved here three vari varkari by santals even that is wrong because vari varkari is not produced is not uh, done by santals that's by some other group so one is correct two and three are wrong the answer is option a one only for the ninth question Then, the well-known painting Bani Thani belongs to which of the following schools of art? They are asking. So, such questions seem to be so out of the blue and uh, they are very factual. We don't really know why these questions are asked. See, the reason why this painting, this particular painting called as Bani Thani is asked is because this is that painting and this is considered to be the Mona Lisa of India. So, therefore, Obviously, this painting has a lot of significance and that's why UPSC expects you to know what this painting means. So, here the answer is option D, Kishangar school. So, it is as simple as that, it is very straightforward. The answer is option D, Kishangar school. Next question. Here, consider the following pairs. We have traditions on the one side and the state where the tradition is practiced on the other side. So, first you have Chapchar Kut festival and Mizoram as a state. Is this pairing correct? That is correct because Chapchar Kut festival is the festival that the Mizoram people practice after they have cleared the forest. Clearing the forest takes a lot of time. It takes a number of days and once it is cleared, they ensure that they have this celebration as a method of celebrating the process of clearing the forest. So, this, that is a correct pair. Number two, Konchom Parba Ballad and they are saying it is from Manipur. Is this pair incorrect? That is also correct. This Konchom Parba Ballad is practiced. It is, a, it is a way to sing the heroic praise of all those Manipuris who fought against the British. So, that is also related to the Manipur state only. And then you have Thongto Dance. And they say it is Sikkim. Is this pairing correct? This pairing is wrong because Thongto dance is related with Manipur only and not Sikkim. So, Thongto dance is actually not even a dance, it is a combat style. It is a combat style where you have the thong and the toe, meaning the sword and the spear. You have these two weapons to fight your opponent. So, that is a Manipuri tradition and not a tradition of Sikkim. So, the answer to this question is option B, 1 and 2 only. Question number 12. Once again you have pairs where you have craft item on one side and the heritage of a particular state on the other side. So, Puttukuli shawl, is it from Tamil Nadu? Yes, it is from Tamil Nadu. Once again, these are all factual questions. There is no bypassing it. Sujini embroidery, is it belonging to Maharashtra? The answer is no, it belongs to Bihar. Up, Uppada Jamdani Saris, does it belong to Karnataka? Once again, no, it belongs to Andhra Pradesh and therefore, it is not belonging to Karnataka. So, 1 is correct, 2 and 3 are wrong. The answer is option A, 1 only. Question number 13, with reference to the cultural history of India, consider the following statements. White marble was used in the making of Bulan Darwaza and 
Khan ka at Fatehpur Sikri, they say. That statement is wrong because they used red sandstone to construct Buland Darwaza. Akbar is the one who constructed Buland Darwaza to commemorate his victory over Gujarat. So therefore, he is actually the one who built it and it was not using white marbles, it was using red sandstone. Red sandstone and marble were used in the making of Bama, Bara, Imambara and Rumi Darwaza at Lucknow. No, this statement is also wrong because they used brick and lime, simple bricks and lime was used and this happened much later in the time of the uh, early modern era, that is when this was constructed, Baba, Bara, Imandar, Imambara. So this is present in Lucknow and that is using bricks. So red sandstone and marble were not used. So both the statements are wrong. The answer for this question is option D, neither one nor two. Fourteenth question. With reference to cultural history of India, consider the following statements. Most of Tyagaraja Kirtis are devotional songs in praise of Lord Krishna. No, that is wrong. It is in devotion of Lord Rama, not Krishna. Tyagaraya created several new ragas. That statement is correct. Annamayacharya and Annamacharya and Tyagaraja, Tyagaraja are contemporaries. No, it is wrong. Tyagaraja came in the 17th to 18th century and even went on to uh, sorry, not 17th to 8th century, I think 18th to 19th century. And Annamacharya, he is from 12th to 13th century and therefore they are not contemporaries. Third is a wrong statement. Annamacharya Kirtanas are devotional songs in praise of Lord Venkateshwara. That is correct. So, 1 and 3 are wrong, 2 and 4 are correct. The answer is option B, 2 and 4 only. So, with this, we come to the end of discussion of art and culture questions that has been asked over the past 5 years in UPSC prelims. In the next set of videos, we will look at all the modern India questions that has been asked in UPSC year after year from 2015 to 2019. But when it comes to modern India, we will of course deal with that in detail because the number of questions are large. So we go year by year. The next video will be the discussion of questions asked in modern Indian history in 2015 and then 16, 17, 18 and 19. That is how we will go forward. So please look at the description. You have the detailed link of what these answers, these explanations are. Please download the answers for yourself, for your personal use and subscribe to the channel to listen to more such videos. Thank you.